Hey, what's going on, everybody? Simple Duck here, and uh, I want to bring you guys a quick uh, Magicka Nightblade build. Uh, since the last time I posted a, a Nightblade build, I've changed it up quite a bit. Uh, the playstyle is totally different, the gear is totally different, and I want to run you guys through it real quick and uh, kind of give you a rundown of the skills, the gear, and uh, show you a little bit of how to use it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here and I'm gonna start off with the skills so you can already see some of them here uh, my first bar you can see I'm running dual wield uh, this is kinda interesting here this is kinda interesting so um, our main damage dealer here is gonna be funnel health now the reason I'm running funnel health instead of swallow soul is because I do run in a duo uh, if you solo more use swallow soul uh, but because I do run in a duo, I run Funnel Health so that we both benefit from it. Um, great damage on it. You can see it's 6720 damage. Uh, that's unbuffed right now, so uh, pretty nice there. Uh, second thing up here, Merciless Resolve. Uh, this is the only damage buff that I'm using. I'm not using anything to buff my spell power. Uh, no skills to buff my spell power. I am using spell power pots, but uh, those are kind of just when I need them. Uh, the Merciless Resolve gives me a huge buff to, to the damage, which I really like. It also gives you the ability for Assassin's Will, which you can see there it's 14.5, but if I actually put it on, it's 15.6. So against a player, that thing hits so hard. I've actually had it crit on players for more damage than that. So, um, so crazy. You can do so much damage with this. And the burst is something that they're not going to see coming. So Merciless Resolve is uh, a buff and a great burst damage spell. Uh, third up is Cloak. Uh, that's just going to remove dots from you. And as a Magicka Nightblade, your main defense is going to be able to go stealth. Uh, so Cloak is huge for you as a Magic Nightblade, so we got that on there. Uh, our Gap Closer here we're using is Lotus Fan. Obviously it's the, the opposite morph of Ambush for all you stamina guys. Uh, they buffed this up. As a lot of you know, it works really well now. Uh, you do great damage with it. It's got a little AoE dot on top of it, and the Snare is amazing. So uh, this does really well. And... Lastly, we have Radiant Mage Light. I am not using Inner Light. I used to run Inner Light, and uh, I decided to try out this morph just, just to give it a shot. Uh, and I gotta tell you, for PvP, I will never go back. This is so amazing. So you get the 10% spell crit. Now, with Inner Light, with the other morph, you gain 5% extra Magicka. With this, you you kind of lose 5% magicka. You don't lose it, but you just, you know, damage-wise, you still get it, but um, you don't have access to it in your pool. So you're 95% magicka. Um, for a lot of people, that little bit of extra damage is worth going with that. In my opinion, I don't miss that 5% magicka. It's not a big amount. I don't miss it at all. What I do love is finding hidden and invisible enemies and I love that people cannot stealth open on me. They can't do it. Me or my duo partner. They can't get either one of us. And both of us can see stealth enemies. So 56% less damage from stealth openers. That is insane. It gives us such a huge advantage when people jump on us. So I won't be going back to inner light. Lastly on this bar, the ultimate soul harvest. Uh, not much I need to say about that. 30% healing reduction on the target. You gain extra ultimate for getting kills. Um, the damage is absolutely insane. When I'm buffed, it's like 13k. Uh, and for, I believe it's for 6 seconds, you get an extra 20% damage against them for with everything. So, huge damage buff for you. As well as the healing debuff for them. So, amazing ultimate there. Uh, but I do want to get back and actually talk about this, Funnel Health, real quick, just real quick. Um, most people would be saying, well, Duck, why aren't you using Concealed Weapon? I mean, if you look at the, the damage number there, that's, that's doing 7250. This is doing 67. It's a 
big difference in the damage number, right? And you're right, it is. Concealed Weapon will do more damage and it gives you access to the stun. And if you want to run Concealed Weapon instead, by all means, do it. If you can make it work, go ahead, do it. There's nothing wrong with running Concealed Weapon. Um, one of the things that I found with this build is that it was I was running it with Concealed Weapon and it was incredibly powerful. You could do so much damage and I loved it, but it lacked in the healing department. It didn't have anything good that, for, for my playstyle, I like something that's consistent, like a hot. And Strife gives that to you. Strife is such a huge benefit for me and my partner, so uh, I, I swapped it out and I gotta tell you, even though I lose a little bit of damage and I lose that stun, um, all you gotta do is fear instead of getting that stun off and you're, you're good with the CC, you lose that little bit of damage but you gain a massive heal and it is so worth it in my opinion. So uh, you can try it with Concealed Weapon if you want to do it that way, if you, if you can make it work, do it. But uh, in my opinion, I love Funnel Health. It gives you the ability to play it just like if it was a melee build. You can gap close in, you can, you can Lotus Fan in, and then just Light Attack Weave, just Animation Cancel with Funnel Health. Play it just like it's melee, but it does give you the opportunity to back off and still do damage if you have to. Now, you can also say, well this is a projectile, Magicka DK is somebody who's reflecting, you're going to have trouble with. Um, if that's the case, in the rare situation where that, that's a problem, um, as stupid and cheesy as this is, and I hate it, just use Lotus Fan. Uh, it do, it's not going to do nearly as much damage, but get some damage in there with Lotus Fan. When the thing comes down, get your CC in and hit him with this, so um, you, can, you can make it work. But let me get on my back bar now. Um, on the back bar, we're running Piercing Mark. This, this one you can kind of swap out for whatever you need. Um, I was running Siphoning Attacks in there. If you need any recovery, Stamina, Magicka, whatever, uh, Siphoning Attacks I think is one of the most underrated spells in the game. Definitely one of the most underrated. Uh, it gives you a huge amount of recovery, so it's great. Uh, with the build that I'm running right now, I didn't need the extra recovery, so I just went with something that would give me a little bit more of a benefit. Uh, this is going to make sure people can't stealth away. It's also going to increase my damage by a ton. Uh, it gives you the heal after you kill them, so in outnumbered fights, if you get your target down, your health boosts way back up. It's so good for that. Now, in combination with Radiant Mage Light, it's amazing. Radiant Mage Light, you'll be able to see the stealthed enemies, then you hit them with the mark and they can't go anywhere. You got them. So, Piercing Mark, uh, great one for me here, but like I said, you can kind of change this ability out for whatever you need. Um, you could even throw in like Entropy or Sap Essence or something here as well if you wanted to, uh, uh, to get the spell power buff, so you can do that. Uh, moving on to the heal, I use Blessing and Restoration. I know a lot of people like to run the bubble. Uh, personally, I don't like the <coughs> excuse me. I don't like the bubble because you have to cast it and you have to wait. You have to wait for your heal. And if they can work through that bubble, you don't get anything. You just wasted all all that magicka. So what I like to do is just get a a little gap, pop this, and get right back into the fight. It's quick. It's easy. It gives you. A great heal, it even gives you a, a damage resist buff. I mean, you gain physical and spell resist, so can't beat it. I just I like this so much better than the bubble. Uh, next up, Mass Hysteria, our fear. Uh, not much I need to say about that. It gives you a four and a half second fear. It also, at the end of the fear, they're snared and they do less damage, so always like that. Uh, next up, Double Take. Uh, this is kind of my... It's a nice defensive spell. You get the 20% dodge chance, uh, so that's really nice to have up during a fight, especially since uh, we're kind of playing more aggressive, so it's good to have that that sort of passive defense going. Uh, but it also gives us major expedition, which is very important for getting around. Since we're not using concealed weapon, we need something to give us a little bit of a speed boost, and this is it. Uh, then we've got, obviously, Radiant Mage Light again, and our ultimate on this bar is Soul Tether. 
Uh, Soul Tether, 150 ultimate. It does huge damage. It's a big AoE burst, um, an AoE stun, an AoE dot. It's so good. And then when you synergize it, it's amazing. Uh, two Night Blades, like I, like I said several times, we I run a duo. Both of us will jump in and ultimate with this. It hits so hard. So uh, we got that. Plus, with this build, you need a siphoning ability on the back bar. So that is it. Uh, and like I said, I am running the spell power pots. So that's what I'm running there for the pot. You can see that. But uh, let's jump into the gear here real quick. Uh, I am running... Let me get back on my main bar here. I am running for the main bar four pieces of Magnus. Uh, my Magnus pieces are all the main pieces. Obviously, it doesn't really matter which ones you have. You can have any, you know, mix and match. It doesn't really matter which ones are which sets. Uh, but I do have the, the large pieces as infused. Uh, you can go divines with it if you want to. Um, just kind of whatever feels more comfortable for you. It's not really going to make a huge difference either way. Uh, but I do have infused on those and all the Magicka uh, enchants on there. And the second set that I'm running is Twice Born. So I've got five pieces of Twice Born, four of Magnus. Now with the Twice Born set, I have all Divines on those. So that's four pieces of Divines here. And then one weapon. I have one weapon for each set. Uh, both of them Nern Honed. So you get that extra spell pen. That's big for your damage increase. So make sure you go with with Nern uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the Twice Born set it's going to give you access to have two Mundus stones. So what I like to do, let me go back into this one here, and you can see how I've got my attributes here. Uh, 46 Magicka, 18 Health. I've got the 18 in Health just because I'm not running food. Uh, I'm actually, as a Magic of Nightblade, I'm actually running Drink. So, uh, I'm actually a Magic of Nightblade set up like a Stamina Nightblade. So I've got just shy of 32,000 health, 2265 unbuffed spell damage, 62% uh, crit there, 67 on that bar, so you get crits on the heals. Uh, but I am running the Shadow for crit damage and Thief for crit chance. So this is a high crit and crit damage build. Let me go back over here. Uh, so we're really relying on getting crits and doing massive damage with those. And crits with this is going to increase not only your damage but your heals because swallow or not swallow soul but funnel health. Funnel health. It, the higher the damage, the bigger the heal. And with your blessing of restoration, crit. Uh, obviously, a crit is a bigger heal, but. Uh, Jewelry, all willpower, all arcane. Uh, I do run spell damage on two and recovery on one. I could probably change that, but because of the way that my passives work, uh, I don't get 169 recovery from that. I get closer to 300. <laughs> so uh, taking that off is a huge change in my recovery. Uh, I could supplement that by putting in uh, siphoning attacks, but I just I just don't want to. Uh, it works, everything works just fine the way it is. And again, Nern Honed Magnus, Nern Honed Twice Born, and then on the Resto Bar, I've got Precise for the crit, and it is Twice Born. Uh, if you don't do Twice Born on this, then you don't get to have two, two stones. As soon as you swap, you'll lose your stone. So this has to be Twice Born. Uh, and I think that's about it. I could go into the champ points, but as you can see up here, I only have, I'm only at 318, so I'm still fairly low in the champ points. Uh, but I'll show you real quick where I'm putting them. Actually, I'm gonna put another point. Do I have one here? Nope. So I've got some points here in uh, less crit damage taken. I've got my 10 here. I, I put them all in hardy. You can put them wherever you want in this. It's not a big deal. Uh, but just want 10 points in this to pick up this passive here, the spell absorption. And then I've got a bunch of points here in quick recovery to increase the heal. Uh, over here, for the moment, I'm going with uh, cost reduction there. I'm at 36 points because I've already got almost 20% into my recovery. I've got my recovery at a good level now, so I'm going with this. And, and that's kind of the key with champ points, is just use the champ points to buff up whatever is lacking for you. Don't just 
copy what everybody else has. Use them to, to fix whatever shortcomings your build might have. In my case, I needed more recovery, so I put a bunch of points into recovery. And now I'm going over here, so do that. Uh, I would suggest making sure you have 8% into Magician. Get that 8% reduction before you do this. And then uh, once you're at a good level there again, I would go with Tumbling, but for right now I don't have anything. Uh, as a Magic and Nightblade, you have to make sure you get Spell Precision, especially for this build, so you need 30 points over here. Uh, we are running Nernhone, so this would be nice, but I've heard it's bugged. Uh, anything over one point doesn't do anything, so uh, I'm just leaving this alone for now because I don't need it. But with the way that this build is working, put the 30 points you need right here into crit damage. Uh, this is going to increase the crit, the uh, amount of damage you get from crits and the amount of healing. So put your 30 points there. Everything else throw into into thaumaturge just until you, once you get this maxed out, points can go anywhere. But uh, in the blue tree. 30 points over here first. That that one is kind of mandatory. Um, make sure you get that. And then everything else over here. And that is going to be it for the champ points. So, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully that will help you guys out. We'll have some clips here. I don't know if, if they're going to be in the beginning, the end. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, there should be some uh, clips in the video here to show you the build in action a little bit. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. And until next time, guys, take it easy.